Marty. Yo. There's two men carrying some equipment. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> We're here at the Portuguese consulate, Hungarian consulate. I don't think these guys have got permission to get these videos. I don't think... Who's this thug with a tattoo on his hand? Look at this. <laughs> okay, following Ryan Rampage, just around this corner here on the right is the uh, number one men's hangout in Manchester, and it's empty. Although I think they've moved before we got there, actually, they saw us coming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the street is cool. Well, guys, as it's uh, me and Ryan and Josh and Marty, we're just going to have a quick cottage. I'm going to stop filming for a minute. We'll come back. <laughs> so, because Manchester's favourite uh, cottaging spot saw us coming, and we didn't see them coming, get it? Get it? Get it? Um, we're going to try and approach from the rear end. And, uh, you know, when you approach from behind, <laughs> we're going to... All right, Joshua's got a UV torch, and uh, you know it shows up bodily fluids quite strongly. That's quite disturbing. How about a bit closer to the spot here? Oh! Go on, bring the torch a bit closer. This is Cottager's Cove, bodily fluids, 2023. How about against the wall? Wow. Oh! Oh, there's a lot of uh, body fluids here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, police. It's like the seven dwarves for Snow White. Um, Usually, when seven cops arrive with one big thing like that, usually they're going to go do something. But being Manchester, it's just an average Monday afternoon. <laughs> size of this man's lens. Oh, nice. Yeah, a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the Baofeng out. We're scanning either 466 or 446. Keep getting some female interaction, but I don't know what it is. Come on. Come on. Someone who is sleeping is being asked if they are okay. I think they're awake now, of course. Like yeah, welcome back to the channel if it's your first time. No, I fucked it up, how's it go? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's your first time here around here. Thank you. All right, mate, we'll help you find it. What are you looking for? Have you dropped a contact lens? We'll help you find it, where is it? No? He'll find it, he'll find it. Oh, it's another evening in Manchester as young crackhead couples walk behind me. <laughs> It's another evening in Manchester where three aggressive men, probably carrying knives, walk behind me. <laughs> so this is your reporter, Charles Veach, reporting from when men still have curtain haircuts from the 90s. As the sun sets on another day, you never know if it's a mother innocently taking her child home or a massive child kidnap taking place in front of you. So. Nobody knows where peace will come in the Middle East or whether big men called Baza will hide behind trees or come up to you and say hello. So, as the sun sets on another evening in Manchester, we all wonder, is it all serious or is it just a joke? Are these actually normal people or are they crackheads? <laughs> Over to you, Marty, in the studio. The big question is, are they straight men or are they homosexuals? So since the 1997 testicle fondling scandal on Market Street, young people just don't think it's safe anymore. So since the massive scandal of Rishi Sunak saying women can have pinors, it's estimated that 27% of all women on Market Street have pinors. <laughs> There's uh, definitely a new strain of the uh, unstimulating stuff going on.
Charlie Veach wondering, are young people perming their hair or do they naturally have curly hair? That's what we want to know. Okay, it's Charlie Veach here. We're outside the most dangerous McDonald's in the Western Hemisphere. More dangerous than the McDonald's in Kiev. Kiev, I mean. Now, the question is, is this McDonald's specifically chosen by teenagers to come and have a fight? Or is it the dramatic rise in the price of the double cheeseburger? which has made your average urban feral youth very angry. And I still want to know, do young people perm their hair or is it naturally curly? <laughs> the sun officially set, the police are left with nothing to do except search young people. And I still want to know whether they're naturally curly haired or if they permit. Speaking of permits, there's the man in the box. I would never touch horticultural enjoyment. I'm a pure tobacco man myself, but my advice for anyone who thinks that they can come here and treat it like Amsterdam is uh, remember the smell carries very far. The police are gonna be going <laughs> And uh, you're probably wondering, how do the police know what it smells like? Well, they were young and cool once, one day, a long, a long time ago, 300 years ago, They'd be here going, listening to Bob Marley, but now they're, they're in black, doing what they do. They found us, they're here from Marty Black, bro. Oh, they're here from Marty Black, bro. Are they going to meet in the middle? Wait, what's going on? That's not normal. It's all the other way. It's the other way, bro. Can they not coordinate? Is that, that's very counterproductive, isn't it? I've not seen that before. What in the world? That was fun. Oh, so, uh, it's 4.10 p.m. And, um... You may have noticed. Look at this, it's Ryan, Ryan and Marty and Joshua. 